We've published over 20 episodes of Wham Bam Security Cam, totaling hundreds of videos sent in by fans. Here are the ones viewers enjoyed the most in the past 10 weeks. Enjoy! Marcus sent us one of the craziest stories we've received on this channel so far. Take a look. Some guy poured gasoline all over Marcus's friend's Mazda before setting it on fire. It looks like he had some trouble getting the flames going, and he's lucky he didn't fry himself in the process. Firefighters arrived quickly and successfully extinguished the blaze before it caused any damage to the house. Later that morning, the police were able to catch the arsonist. He told them he'd mistakenly thought the car belonged to his ex-girlfriend. Thankfully, the Mazda was insured and Marcus's friend was paid 28,000 Australian dollars, over 18,000 US dollars, to replace the car. I guess the lesson here is to make sure you know whose car you're setting on fire. Just kidding. Obviously, don't set anybody's car on fire. This video shows why it's imperative not to fall asleep at the wheel. According to our submitter, that's exactly what happened to the driver of a blue truck before they smashed into his company's work truck. First responders arrived and helped both drivers with their injuries. Thankfully, everyone is expected to make a full recovery. Unsurprisingly, our submitter said both vehicles were undrivable and his company bought a new truck. Dustin told us he sees all sorts of interesting things happen at the liquor store he owns. One night, his security cams captured an attempted break-in. Okay, maybe it was more than just an attempted break-in. Get it? Because he broke the glass? Hey, I'm just trying to lighten things up. I'm sure this was very frustrating for Dustin. He actually provided us with some of his own narration. Let's get his take on what happened. Well, here's my wake-up call this morning. Guy walks up. Let's throw a rock at this guy's door. Oh. It's like he's wearing Vincent Van Gogh underwear. Yeah. These are we agree with his sentiments, but we can't play all of them here. This is a family-friendly channel, Dustin. It looks like a group of burglars was working together because a second car also peeled out. We're starting to see more and more brazen criminals on this channel, but they don't seem to be getting any smarter. Seriously, he had to smash the window out to realize he wouldn't be able to bend the metal bars? Come on, man. The police arrived five minutes after the burglars left. Sadly, they're still at large, and Dustin paid 600 US dollars out of his own pocket to fix the damage. Dan's security cam began recording when two homeless people started hanging around the back of his building. That on its own wasn't too concerning, but take a look at what they did next. Apparently, they thought it would be a good idea to start a fire using some cardboard boxes and some firewood left outside for a grill. The most obvious problem with this plan was that they started it right next to a wooden ramp. Unsurprisingly, the flames quickly spread to the ramp and the fire grew rapidly out of control. It's hard to tell, but it looks like one of them tried to throw some water on the fire from this bin. This particular camera also recorded audio and we're pretty sure that's water sizzling in the flames. Sadly, it wasn't even close to enough to extinguish the blaze. So guess what they did next? <laughs> yep, they took off, leaving the chaos they'd caused behind them. Dan told us the fire reached the internet cable and stopped his cameras from recording just before firefighters arrived. We can barely hear their sirens in the background. Thank God they got there before the building burned down. The ramp was destroyed and the wall blackened by the flames. And Dan's insurance provider cut him a check for 4,000 US dollars to repair the damage. He told us he and his son Devin are huge fans of all the Wham Bam channels, but he wishes he had something to send us that wasn't such a hot mess. An arson investigation was conducted, but the individuals responsible still haven't been located. Here's a clip of a neighbor losing some property.
A vehicle lost control and smashed into a fence, taking down a 15-foot tree before ending up on its side. The driver managed to get out of the SUV and wandered around for a while before leaving the scene. Another neighbor called 911 and deputies and firefighters quickly responded. They knocked on the fence owner's door, but they weren't able to wake him up. The next morning, the neighbor realized something was wrong when he went to take a shower and had no water because the fallen tree had destroyed his water service. According to our submitter, the driver turned himself in the same morning, claiming he'd fallen asleep at the wheel. Just before leaving for work one morning, this submitter heard a loud crash outside his house. Let's find out what had caused it. Our submitter told us this happened a mile away from a school. The driver of the flipped vehicle claimed her accelerator had gotten stuck. After an investigation, police determined she'd actually been looking at her phone and hadn't noticed the car in front of her. She swerved in an attempt to avoid a collision and lost control, ending up in the ditch. We've said it before on our other channels and we'll say it again here, stay off your phone while driving. Yep, this is the sentry mode camera of a Tesla Model Y. Okay, somebody might not like that we're stealing a clip away from Wham Bam Tesla Cam, but when you see it, you'll see why we had to show it here first. Watch what this submitter's wife's parked Tesla captured while she was at work. Evidently, some employees noticed someone sleeping in a U-Haul truck and found that suspicious. When police arrived to investigate, they confirmed the truck had been reported stolen. While trying to escape, the sleepy thief ran into a total of four vehicles, including the Tesla. They also nearly struck pedestrians and police. Our submitter had to use his uninsured motorist coverage to fix the damage since the truck was stolen. Repairing the Model Y cost 22,000 US dollars. Watch what happened moments after David and his mom had pulled up to their house. Another driver was allegedly intoxicated and drove directly into a streetlight before smashing into a parked flatbed truck. David's mom called 911 while neighbors joined them and rushed over to make sure the driver was okay. First responders arrived five minutes later. The drunk driver's car was totaled and they were obviously found at fault for the collision. Shout out to David's mom for rendering aid when it was needed. Marco's Tesla Model Y was parked safely in his driveway, or at least he thought it was safe, until a random guy walked by and took notice of it. The guy crossed the street to approach the Tesla while carrying a strange homemade tool that the Tesla's tire had no defense against. Seriously, what is that? Tell us your theory in the comments. Whatever it was, it successfully punctured a hole in the Tesla's tire. The guy was talking to himself in an unknown language and Marco told us he has no idea what triggered the guy to commit this act of violence. Marco called the police and made a report. He's concerned that this guy is just walking around the neighborhood with some kind of improvised weapon. It cost 225 US dollars to fix the tire and the Tesla will live to drive another day. Check out the costly mistake the driver of this red car made. According to Daniel, the young driver continued through a stop sign without a good view of cross traffic. As a result, she collided with a car and the impact pushed her into another car. Instead of hitting the brakes, she accidentally accelerated and slammed into Daniel's wall. We can see the entire wall shake. Check out the cracks spidering up the wall, not to mention the gaping hole where her bumper punctured it. The driver was shaken but uninjured. 
things escalated quickly after her stepdad showed up. He told everyone to calm down and that his insurance coverage would pay for the damage. But they soon discovered his insurance policy had expired. This resulted in the stepdaughter spending a few days in jail while the other parties involved filed lawsuits against her stepdad after he failed to pay for the damage as agreed. In the end, the guy agreed to pay for the damage out of his own pocket and the stepdaughter was released from jail. What a mess! Daniel told us he and his family love watching our videos while eating breakfast every morning. Hey guys, we hope you liked watching your own video! David's security cam recorded a pickup losing control on the slick road before hitting his mailbox. Okay, maybe hitting wasn't a strong enough word. The pickup completely obliterated David's brick mailbox and the impact spun the truck 180 degrees. According to David, the young driver was frightened and not thinking straight, so at first he tried to flee. He didn't get far before high centering his pickup on the wreckage of the mailbox he'd just destroyed. After getting stuck, he was on the hook for the 1300 US dollars that his dad had to pay David for the damage. David told us the driver's dad was awesome and after having a tow truck come and winch the pickup off the mailbox, he cleaned up the debris that had fallen in the road and yard. Not only that, he installed a temporary mailbox until a new brick one could be built. This emitter's camera was pointed at an intersection when an elderly man wanted to cross the street. He waited patiently until it was his turn, but what he didn't notice was a FedEx driver who was waiting in the turn lane. Apparently the FedEx driver didn't notice the elderly man either. As the man was almost halfway across the street, the truck driver barreled toward him. Miraculously, they missed each other, but that was too close for comfort. The FedEx driver immediately pulled over to make sure the old man was okay. First responders arrived, and so did the FedEx driver's boss. It looks like the old man was okay, if a bit shaken. He deserves free shipping for life after that close call. This emitter was expecting an ordinary package delivery, but what his security cam captured was anything but ordinary. Did you see what just happened? Well, of course you did. I don't see how you could have missed it. It seems like the delivery guy thought his move would be missed by the security cam when he stole our submitter's package seconds after taking a picture of it on his porch. He even gave the doorbell camera a sideways glance before he set the package down, then leaned back in to grab it again. He must have thought he wasn't in the camera's view, but that was a risky gamble considering the only things in that package were some specialty batteries he probably had no use for. Our submitter told us that after he notified the delivery company, they informed him that they'd fired the package carrier. We just wonder how many times he'd gotten away with this before being caught on camera. He would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for meddling security cams. It was a nice quiet morning at Carl's house. Little did he know, his Fiat parked in his driveway was about to get a rude awakening. A vehicle parked farther up the street had been left in neutral and rolled down the hill. Its wheels turned just perfectly so that it ended up smashing into the Fiat, pushing it against Carl's house. Thankfully, it didn't go any farther after knocking down Carl's fence as he told us there's a highway at the end of the street. All he could do was laugh about it as he recognizes it could have been worse. At least nobody was hurt. He's still waiting to hear back from the insurance company. In broad daylight, this suspicious car pulled up near Ben's house just after his wife had left for the day. Two guys got out of the car and made their way to the front door. Incredibly, they started using a crowbar in an attempt to break open the door. What they didn't know was that Ben's wife had already called the police about a suspicious vehicle in the neighborhood and they were already on their way. The burglars managed to break down the door after one of them kicked it open and they rushed inside. Just then, the police arrived, pulling up right in front of the getaway vehicle. The driver sped away, leaving behind one of the criminals who'd been waiting outside the house. The driver pulled a U-turn around the police car as the rest of the criminals ran across the street to reach it. The cops were close behind, but all the would-be thieves dove into the car before the police were able to catch up. 
Ben didn't tell us if they were ever apprehended, but thanks to the prompt police response, they hadn't had time to steal anything from the house. After the cops returned to the scene, they told Ben to be prepared to find the house destroyed by the break-in. Ben told us a mess wouldn't surprise him because, as he puts it, we have kids. Paul's son was pulling away from their house with his sister in the passenger seat of his six-week-old car. Why does it seem like the new cars are always the ones getting smashed? Even worse, the other driver then fled the scene, making it a hit and run. Paul told us this is the second time his son has been rear-ended. That's not cool. The police are still looking for the offender, but thankfully, they were able to get the license plate number from the security cam footage. Since this only just happened, they don't have a repair estimate yet. Ashley has a security cam that happens to face the lemon tree in her front yard. One day while she was at work, a lady came onto her property and started stealing her ripe lemons. She even brought a bag to carry them away in. Since Ashley was at work, all she could do was speak with the woman through her security cam. Leave my lemons alone. What you, what you taking lemons for? Oh, okay. Thank you. I didn't know they were yours. You didn't know they were on my property? I thought the tree was, I don't know, with your tree, I'm sorry. It's not yours, leave it alone. At least she said thank you as she walked away with the stolen lemons still stashed in her bag. We're not buying her excuses at all. Ashley told us that, sadly, random people come into her yard and steal her lemons all the time. Sometimes they just take one or two, but sometimes they fill up bags like this lady did, leaving none for her and her daughter Erica to enjoy. Ashley told us she and her daughter like binging all the new Wham Bam episodes every Sunday. We're happy to provide some entertainment for them to enjoy, even if all their lemons get stolen. This story needs a little disclaimer. It was actually filmed by a dash cam in a Tesla, so we weren't sure which channel to put it on. We decided to split the difference and put it on Wham Bam security cam. It's a good thing a camera was recording when this happened. Evidently, a young man driving his mom's car took a turn too wide and overcompensated, hitting Freddy's parked Tesla. Freddy and his dog were actually sitting in the car at the time. Thankfully, neither one was injured. Both cars had to be towed away from the scene. Three months and over 12,000 US dollars later, the Tesla was finally fixed. One rainy day, Daniel got into his vehicle to go pick up his mail. Sadly, his security cam wasn't the only thing that watched him drive away. Mere minutes after he'd left, a guy made his way around the side of Daniel's house, grabbed his generator, and started dragging it toward the street. The guy was actually one of Daniel's neighbors who lived down the street, but he wasn't able to make off with the generator before Daniel returned. The neighbor quickly dragged the generator back to where it belonged. Then instead of running away, he stayed to talk to Daniel, spinning him a grand tale about how he'd just scared off a thief who'd been trying to steal the generator. Daniel responded by informing him that he'd check his security cam to see what had happened. It was at this moment he knew he'd messed up, both with his original theft attempt and with his uncreative cover story. Once Daniel had reviewed his footage, he saw through the neighbor's story and called the police to report the attempted theft. His neighbor was arrested and charged, then released with a promise to appear in court to face the charges. Daniel told us he later spotted the power company disconnecting the guy's power, not only for not paying his power bill, but also for illegally connecting to the power grid in the first place. It's a good thing Daniel caught him on security cam or else he would have had nothing but the neighbor's word to go on. Okay, we need something to cheer us up after that last video. A young hawk was fascinated with his reflection in the glass roof of Chris's Tesla Model Y. Chris explained that the light was reflecting perfectly to enable Tony to admire himself. Hmm, Tony the Hawk. I don't get it. Eventually, Tony flew off, probably looking for a real hawk to be friends with. Ovi's dad's van was parked on the street while a family walked past it in peace, unaware that the van was about to save them. 
According to our submitter, the vehicle that crashed into the Mercedes and the van was stolen, and the driver had been driving down residential streets at a high rate of speed. Thank God the van was parked where it would protect the pedestrians from injury. They might have been frightened, but not even the shattered glass caused them any harm. Uvi told us they were disappointed because they'd been planning on selling the van. Instead, it was totaled by this reckless driver. She also told us that when the driver got out of the vehicle, he was slurring his words and yelling at bystanders. Yeah, something tells me he was in no condition to be in the driver's seat, even if he hadn't stolen the SUV. This emitter's Model Y was parked outside of a restaurant while he was inside with friends. Suddenly, the driver of a black SUV made a U-turn and stopped next to the Tesla before a guy jumped out and smashed the quarter glass. Our submitter did get a sentry mode notification when this happened, but he thought it was nothing and ignored it. Even if he had listened to his security system on wheels, he probably wouldn't have made it out of the restaurant before the burglar made his getaway. He didn't tell us if anything was stolen, but he did tell us it cost him $455 US dollars to replace the window. Check out this exemplary driver clearly paying close attention to what's ahead of them. A resident trying to get through a gate failed to wait long enough for it to open, running into it instead. Evidently, the gate was offended and got all bent out of shape, so it refused to open any further. Anthony contacted the management company responsible for the gate and they were able to track down the resident. Anthony isn't sure who paid for the repairs, but the gate was quickly fixed. Hopefully, this little incident taught the driver to pay better attention. Dan was in the middle of building a fence at an incredible superhuman speed. Okay, this is actually a time lapse, but still, he'd been working really hard and he decided to step away for a quick break. Shortly after walking away, a gray car turned onto the street in front of his house. The driver made a U-turn, but instead of driving away, he backed up after spotting something. Two guys got out of the car, one of them sprinting as they made their way toward Dan's property. In seconds, they'd grabbed Dan's power tools before running back to the car and taking off. We're wondering why they were wearing reflective vests. Maybe they were construction workers who forgot their own tools. Just kidding. Let us know your theory in the comments. A little while later, Dan came back to finish the fence, but his power tools were nowhere to be found. It looks like he thought he was going crazy. It was starting to rain, so he thought maybe his sister had stuck them in the garage, but he checked his security cam footage after he couldn't find them. That's gotta be disappointing. Dan made a police report, but so far, the thieves haven't been identified. Wait, could it be? Is this our first encounter with the cart demon on Wham Bam security cam? Oh man, there's no way it's gonna survive this. Hey, it might actually make it. Ooh, missed it by that much. Our submitter is pretty sure the driver who hit the cart could have stopped in time if he'd really wanted to, but we know better. Not all heroes wear capes. We do hope that the driver wasn't rewarded for his heroism with damage to his vehicle though. This channel is fueled by our fans, so we need you to keep sending us your videos so we can produce more and longer episodes. You'll find the submission link in the video description. Wham, man, we got a Patreon, man. Please support the show.